horizontal, but uh, still need to bring it down a couple more times, probably you know, try to dial in the lower channels a little better. Yeah, I, I, I normally run uh, I normally run the quad fed in the corner. So you look at it and it it's like a square and it's fed in the corner. It kind of gives me a little bit of dual polarization that way. As I said, it's just direct coax feed. Um, at, at the at the at the feed point, just got uh, about seven turns uh, around a, a former there. Uh, Four ten. I am. That's where I'm uploading my gates from. Uh, you can, uh, if you uh, get on Lightning Antennas website, it's, uh, li it's called Lightning Quad Antennas out in California. Here's a picture of my station on their uh, testimonials. The last pictures on their testimonials, you'll see a kind of green colored two story. There's a lot of ice on the ground. I took the pictures, but there's a picture of my setup on the uh, Lightning website. Yeah, that, that's uh, okay. Yeah, got it. Lightning antennas. That's the one with the white suburban. Is that the one with the white suburban? Yeah, yeah. Those three pictures together. Uh, there's three pictures. The bottom one with the suburban. The one uh, at the very top with the antenna. That was taken on Saturday. The one with with all the snow around it was taken the very next day on Sunday. It went from 82 degrees on Sunday to uh, 21 degrees and freezing rain and snow on Sunday, all in less than 24 hours. Wow. That's amazing, man. Hey, uh, what what length boom is that? And, uh, oh, she did to ask me. I'm thinking it was... Uh, 18, but don't, uh, I'd have to look at the specs. Uh, if you look at the specs on the L4, and I'll tell you if I like this just uh, forgot right off the top of my head what it was. Okay, yeah, mine's on a 24-foot uh, boom, but I, it's on a 24-foot 3-inch boom. Uh, but that's only because I'm planning on adding a few more elements. Like you said, it's upgradable. I can upgrade it to the six element. Uh, and I was going to do that, but they want almost as much for two more elements as they did for the whole antenna. Yeah, that, look, it's a bit overkill. I, I was looking at them uh, a long time ago, and then I got to know uh, number six of the James boys, and I'll tell you, what he built for me, I'm, I'm damn happy with. Because it's definitely working for you because you're coming in here by yourself. Yeah, no, I got my tower on the ground at the moment. I, I, the tower should be up hopefully end of the week once I get uh, the antenna up in the air. Like I said, it's only about 24 feet off the ground, about 10 feet off the roof of the hay shed there, 410. Yeah, I've got a uh, tilt-over freestanding two-stage tower. I'll be able to get it up to about 70 feet. Yeah, but, uh, no, nah, it was a very good I was trying to hurry up Saturday, that Saturday to get the thing in the air, and I snapped that shot, you know, with the tower on the ground. And uh, I was trying to hurry up when the storm was coming in. I was trying to know how bad it was going to be. I knew it was going to drop down in the, you know, 30s or so, but uh, I was trying to hurry up and get it up there, and I was down that night freezing rain and everything, but uh, it hurt the quad and I froze the uh, mast to the uh, uh, tower, so I couldn't move it for a couple of days, but uh, it worked out in the end. 
Yeah, that's amazing, man. Like, uh, like I said, or like you said, the the photo before, the day before when you had it tilted over, and then the next day covered in snow. Yeah, it, it was kind of wild. <laughs> you don't do that that often around here. Matter of fact, it never does around here. That was the first time I, in my lifetime I'd ever seen it go from 82 degrees to 21 overnight. It uh, it, it was something else. Uh, you know, if I had to be here to see it, I wouldn't have believed it. Yeah, check on that there, Jesse James. Well, I've got another gate rolling now anyway, man, so I'll uh, I'll be uploading that when we finish. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll, uh, I'll check them out. Uh, I hope you get loaded up for sure. Anyway, it's nice to talk to you. I'm kind of surprised I still got conditions down under to be this late. But uh, sounding good. I'm going to get out of the middle of the road. I heard a couple of breaks out there. 854, Jesse James in Dallas. Go. Hey, A-A-5-4. I'm just going to key up one more time just to tell you, man. Hey, it's a quad thing. Hey, Jesse James, it'd be a quad thing, man. The rest of them flat side yagis out there, the condition rolls out for them. But what happens? The quads still talk. It's a quad thing. Jesse James, Postman Australia waving. I'll see you.